Hey there, fight here with a anti-chocolate Easter surprise. This is so incredibly awesome um, that I had to stay here and not go and, you know, hunt down some Easter eggs. Uh, you know, the real Easter egg thing is happening tomorrow. Check this out. So I told you about IMSC Rapid Mailer. I think it is awesome in the right hands for the right application, obviously. But the biggie, the big one thing was it. I didn't get it to work on shared hosting. I phoned, you know, all the customer services. I was on the line with them and no one, everyone was saying it's not possible. It cannot be done. So I kind of gave up on that. And, you know, in all my emails I was going, well, it's really terrible. It'd be so great because most people have shared hosting. Wouldn't it be great? Now, this morning, Barbara sends me this email and she says, you know, I bought up mailer through a recommendation. I was a little bit afraid that most of my sites are on shared HostGator account, but I tried anyway. And I managed to set up route mail on HostGator shared account. This is the bit where basically the chocolate eggs fell out of my hand. I'm going, whoa, what? So I've seen in your video that you've got default Mandrel settings for SMTP. I use port 465 and SSL, and this works for Mandrel and Mailjet, not successful for Amazon SES. Let me show you what that is and how you can implement it straight away. It'll take you like one minute, all right? Why <laughs> didn't someone tell me? So the thing is, when you go to Mandrel, uh, here it says port 587 and you can't change it. This is it. And that's why I went, you know, it can't be changed. And, you know, I basically contacted all the customer services. They all said, well, you know, 587, you can't use with shout hosting. We're blocking it. So I, this is the beginning of an email conversation and basically, you know, to and fro. And Barbara basically says, no, fight, put on the big boy pants. Just ignore what it is they're saying. And you put in this SSL port 465 and you're good to go. I'm going, all righty, all right, Barbara, I will. So I did. So when you go to general configuration here, yeah, yeah, IMSC Rapid Mailer, gen, general configuration, uh, on, on the general tab, right at the beginning, it says SMTP hostname is smtpmandrelhost.com. And here you ignore, you put on the big boy pants and ignore what it says here. And you simply type in 465 and click on SSL. That's all you need to do, right? That's it. Then you copy, obviously, your username and the API key, which you, you know, click down here, and then it's it's down off the screen. I don't want to share my <laughs> screen and my my SMTP key, but you get the idea, right? You know, generate that thing in there. And this is all free. This is like free, and you can send up to 12,000 uh, messages per month for free. So, boom, there you go. Uh, you put that all in there, and then you test your email settings. Now, one thing. If you've already typed this in, there is a wee bug in IMSCP, uh, IMSC Rapid Mail, and that is, if you change these settings here, save the settings, and then do a test, for some reason, under some circumstances, might just be on my case, but just in case it's happening to you, it keeps them in the database and uses the old values. So, what you want to do is you go in here, you change this to 465, you change to S uh, SSL, you check, you save settings up here. Then you click on check and optimize database, okay? And that will guarantee you're now using the latest values. And then you test your email settings. Now, if you remember from my previous videos, this blew up in my face. Let's do an anti blow up thing, all right? I am so excited. Easter eggs. Baba, Barbara rocks. Here come the Easter bunnies. Alrighty, cool. Send test email. Previously, it was like, no, it doesn't work. And look at this, email was successfully sent. Isn't that exciting? You can now send emails for free, up to 12,000 per month. But even then, I did a calculation today. Over the last seven years, I've sent in excess of 10 million emails, right? Had I done that purely through here, that would have cost me f close to $1,400. That's it, right? Over 10 million emails, close to 1400 um, bucks. Actually, it would have been cheaper because I just said, you know, give me the number for one month instead. Uh, you know, I would have had 12,000 of those. Ever. So it definitely wouldn't have been less than $1,400, which is nothing compared to what I paid to Aweber. So, you know, if I now go into my, my test email account here, Barbara rocks, here come the Easter bunnies. Is that not cool? Is that not a cool thing? I am so excited. So, Boom, here you go. Uh, if I now go in here and look at my dashboard, <coughs> you will see I've sent three emails out of 250 today. They all say Barbara absolutely rocks, and this is very, very cool. Um, this will update after a couple of minutes, and you'll see you know, three delivered. Uh, after I've opened this in my email, it'll you know, know that I've now opened it, and then I'll start uh, reporting this in a couple of minutes. 
Very, very cool thing. So here's the thing. This timer on IMSC Rapid Mailer has expired. However, you can still get it for 37 because I guess Sean is still in bed. He lives in California. So if you want to grab it and if you were on the fence because you were thinking, oh, you know, if it doesn't work for shared hosting, it does. Thank to, thanks to Barbara. And we're going to have to send her a giant chocolate Easter brownie just for pointing this out. Alrighty, go in, enjoy, you know, grab it now before the price goes up. Uh, this is truly fantastic. Alrighty, cheers. Happy Easter to you. And thanks again to Barbara.